Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for November. The very first card that you've got is from Joan of Arc, talking about the voice of truth. And what she says is to stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth. Now, Joan of Arc was quite a powerful saint who most definitely stood strong and spoke her truth. And so they're asking you, she's asking you to do the same. Yeah. Release the fear of persecution. And it, it doesn't feel like, it looks like there might be a little something going on, but, um, but it's not persecution as in, like, you're just going to be persecuted and in a horrible way, <laughs> like maybe from the past. It feels just like sort of um, maybe opinions from others kind of thing. It just feels like persecution, judgment. That's the word she's saying, judgment. Release any fear of judgment and speak your truth. The very next card that you've got is um, from Ishelle, the medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. This one comes up again. Didn't this one come up for you guys before? This one comes up again, and it's coming up right after Joan of Arc, and her referring to focusing on your purpose. This is coming up in terms of part of your purpose. Yeah medicine woman and what they wanted me to point out with regard to this is sort of the background as well notice the there's a lot of green it's very sort of earthy there's water uh, it's lush there's electricity from the sky it feel, feels very uh, sort of um, a medicine woman a channel for spirit but it feels very very grounded in the earth so it might be that you're a channel for mother earth it might be that your uh, per part of your purpose has something to do with um, being a medicine woman in the area of the environment somehow and helping with the environment a medicine woman but in terms of the card just being so lush and just sort of earthly you know it's very earthly it's not um it doesn't feel um, as much sort of like spirituality as being a medicine woman for the earth feels more like it with you guys. And you also got Isis saying that uh, there's a past life. One of your past lives is involved in this. This situation involves past life memories and that's coming up with this, which is coming up with this. So this feels really profound for you guys in terms of the your purpose. Um, your purpose being to sort of stand strong, be a channel, speak your truth, and it feels like if some of you are feeling like this does not resonate with you, they're saying that um, this could have been uh, very much the case in a past life and that at this time this, these memories are coming back. These memories from a past life are within you, right? Are all of our past lives are in our DNA and memories from a lifetime when you were this, it feels like, are coming to the surface for you to help Mother Earth. That's what it feels like. Now, some of you are going to be spiritual. Some of you may be spiritual. This is a general reading. So, you kind of feel into that and see how that resonates with you as a medicine woman. And have you been experiencing some things lately where, uh, you know, things feel like they're just kind of, kind of coming up into your awareness. Uh, they could be coming from a past life when you were a medicine woman. How exciting. And then they're asking you to... Be mindful and, and soulful and pay attention to your body. They're really having me feel this center right here. This center in terms of your passion and purpose. Those two words going together, passion and purpose. 
what would light you up about this. So Joan of Arc is saying stand strong and uh, Pele is saying okay and what would you be passionate about? Where your passion is, is easier to stand strong uh, despite judgments, fear of persecution, fear of judgments. It's much easier to stand in your power when you're passionate about something. So this one wants to come back again too to say you decide how you would like to, mm, you know, if it's coming up from a past life and you are again embodying the wisdom of this, now how would you like to uh, move forward? How would you like to move forward with this kind of wisdom in your awareness now? So as you accept that this maybe was who you were in a past life and now it's coming back up for you into your conscious awareness, all the wisdom of it, the power of it, the healing power of it, being a channel to heal Mother Earth of it. How would you like to sort of bring that to life here in human form? <laughs> here in, here in, in in life, what would you like to do with that wisdom? And they're asking you to uh, really stay strong with your own voice. Stay strong in your own truth about that. So those four cards are very powerful. First things that came up. And this one is coming up right underneath that. You can do this. You can do this in terms of standing up for your own, speaking your own truth, and what you know is true. It looks like you might have, you might, some of you might be having some persecution. Some of you might be having some differing opinions to what you would like to do. And the reason that comes up is because we have a few cards. The very first card that comes up about potentially what might be sort of causing or inspiring Joan of Arc to come in here so powerfully and say, no, stand strong, speak your truth, is because there might be some sort of persecution and some other opinions as to what you should be doing. And that's what this one is about. Father, husband, brother, son, Osiris is coming in to say that you might be getting some differing opinions or some a variety of, of opinions on what someone else thinks you should be doing. And it might be that you're giving that uh, a bit of weight. You might be um, in conflict about it as you're trying to stand strong and they are just not all these different opinions, you might be putting more weight into their opinions than, than is n needed. Uh, and we say this in terms of there might be some challenges, difficulties, uh, arguments, because you get this one. This card typically represents, uh, you know, sort of court sorts of things, uh, maybe a divorce doesn't feel to me like a divorce is inevitable. Again, it's a general reading, so some of you kind of, some of you it may be divorce, but it, uh, it, generally speaking, it doesn't feel like that. But it does feel like there might be a bit of um, differing opinions as to what you should be doing with your life in terms of uh, maybe work, maybe work, play, who you are, what you stand for, what you love, what you're passionate about, those sorts of things. Because she's coming and she keeps wanting to come back up, you know. Stand in your own truth. This is who you are. This is who you were and it's coming up to the surface now. So it might be causing some trouble. So hold on to what you're passionate about. Stand strong in your own truth. This can end fairly if you just, you know, stay true to yourself. They're also suggesting that you see the other's point of view. You can see it as 
you know, it was sort of from the from the observer perspective as, okay, this is their opinion based on their life circumstances, based on who they are kind of thing. Um, and now I hear you, you know, I, I hear your opinion. And now um, I'm going to just sort of take some time and then I'll decide what I'm going to do for myself as far as standing in my own truth following my purpose that's mine you know so it doesn't have to it doesn't feel like it has to end in divorce it doesn't feel like this is necessarily divorce but there might be some strife going on that can be worked out just by you just standing your ground you can see their point of view but stand your ground they're also offering that there might be a grandparent that you can uh, talk to about things. There might be a grandparent who, um, you know, you have a very special bond with that does hear you and appreciate you for you and your truth and honors that for you. If you have that in your life, um, how very blessed you are, right? So appreciate that and maybe spend some time spend some time with them um, because a beloved grandparent you know has as you know as an elder would have wisdom that would allow you to you know sort of see yourself through their eyes and that might help with this these on on two either ends of the table wanting to come up together so a beloved grandparent with all that wisdom uh, might be able to inspire you and help you stand stronger in your own truth. You're also getting to forgive. The Miriam is coming in to say forgiveness. And the thing about this card, you know, there's so many cards that talk about forgiveness. This one coming up for you guys uh, to indicate with the two here, that typically means that there is forgiveness of other and forgiveness of self. And what they're saying is forgiving yourself for, for um, trying to appease or putting putting more weight in the other's opinion than your own truth. So it's a bit of forgiving yourself for abandoning yourself and abandoning your own truth by giving weight, more weight to the other than your own inner self. And then also forgiving the other for any arguments that have transpired around this issue. Forgiveness. And then you also got let go. Let go of blame. And as far as resolving this sort of argument or uh, discontent in a relationship with father, husband, brother, son. You know, see their point of view, but stand strong in your own truth. And forgiveness will help, um, forgiveness of self and other, will help to sort of resolve the situation in a fair way. You know, the, the word on this card is fairness. This will end in a fair way, and it can do that much easier if you just sort of see their point of view, forgive yourself and them for anything and then stand in your own truth and then as far as you know just sort of standing in your own truth then and getting back to your purpose uh, as this is coming up from a past life you know sort of deciding your passion and purpose passion and purpose that is yours they're asking you to go back to childhood. <laughs> go back to childhood. Be a child again. Remember what it was like to be so curious. To be curious and full of wonder. Get curious and have that sort of childlike wonderment about how you could, how you could use this wisdom that's coming back for you that you would just be absolutely passionate about. You just could not wait to get out of bed in the morning to start your day kind of thing. So spend some time 
getting curious and childlike wonder to to f help you determine what how you'd like to do it and then whatever you come up with in that curiosity and then whatever comes to you share it and this one wants to come back share it with this grandparent who sees you honors you and you know respects everything that you are and what you say and what you have to say sharing and it also helps them so there's quite a giving and receiving with this when you share with this beloved elder you're also giving to them they give to you you give to them in balance then they want to say imagine so didn't this card come up for you guys if memory serves I'm sorry if it didn't <laughs> If memory serves there's 12 signs but it seemed like this came up for you guys before anyway it says what would you see feel think and hear if your wish came true so as you ponder your passion with curiosity what would you think feel see and hear if it came true <laughs> so kind of imagine different things and with each idea that comes to you imagine what it would think and feel like and hear what would you hear your imagination can help it to come true and then again this one I believe it's Archangel Michael yes Archangel Michael says you can do it you can do it now this card is wanting to kind of go everywhere and Kathumi is coming up to say stay focused stay focused on standing your ground stay focused on setting your boundaries both of these guys are just kind of going yes 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 <laughs> over everything you know get curious figure out what you're passionate about stand strong in your truth from Joan of Arc as a, these medicine woman wisdom comes back from a past lifetime you can do it you can stand your ground you can find your passion and purpose with clear, uh, curiosity you can forgive right you can forgive stay focused get this forgiveness peace to healing to get that out of the way so that you can keep going find your passion and purpose passion and purpose passion and purpose Taurus so let's see is there anything else anything else for Taurus I think that's it for Taurus we're going to continue the conversation and expand on what's going on for you guys in November in the extended reading over at Vimeo the link will be down below in the description box it should be down there now when you're seeing this and we're going to bring in the perspectives and the decks of Mother Earth uh, the wisdom of the Oracle we have a new animal deck the animals are amazing and uh, Mother Earth I think I said that and the fairies so the extended reading is really powerful so hopefully you guys will join us over there on Vimeo and I love you guys until next time take really good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon Mwah.